right, hello YouTube. Um, today I've got a video for you on my Droid Razor Max, um, and I just want to go over a couple things with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install Eclipse ROM on this. It's Eclipse Eclipse ROM version uh, 1.51. Um, so first of all, I just want to let you know what system you're on right here. This is the stock system version, and you're obviously on uh, Android 4.0.4. And this is the XT912. That is the m model number, I guess you'd say. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to come out of here. We're going to power it down and uh, reboot the phone. This is going to be on how to install it using uh, SafeStrap 3.05, uh, which is uh, based on Twerp Recovery. So, I'm just going to kind of get into a little bit. I have other videos on installing SafeStrap 3.5 check them out during my video um, my playlist on my channel uh, so that's gonna be good stuff I'm gonna put links to everything in our video description down below for the ROM and some XDA forum links things like that stuff you're gonna need safe strap stuff if you want to put it in there too so this is safe strap um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to boot options normally if you're on stock you're gonna be on this one's gonna be lit up and here, I've actually already created this ROM slot. Like I said, if you want to know how to use SafeStrap uh, 3.05, please check out my other videos. But um, we have the ROM slot right here. It's activated. It's currently active. It says it right here. also says ROM slot 1 up here on top. So we are in that ROM slot, uh, and that is what's activated. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Wipes. And since I already have something in that ROM slot, we're going to... Wipe cache, go back, wipe Delvic, go back, factory reset. Um, this just kind of gives you a clean working surface here. We're going to go back now and then we're going to go to installs. And we're going to install right here. It says um, Razor Eclipse Ice Cream Sandwich V1.5.1 Zip. So we're going to highlight that, make sure it's still right there. And then we're going to slide to flash. Um, this thing doesn't take too terribly long to flash. I think it's maybe about a minute and it'll boot up. So let me just get into kind of basically what Eclipse is here for you guys. Eclipse is an excellent uh, ROM. The developer is insane. His name's Nitroglycerin. Um, he's really, really good at this. He's a, he develops on a lot of devices. Um, this ROM specifically is pretty much stock. Um, ice cream sandwich on the droid razor it is uh, just got all of the uh, Motorola blur all the bloatware taken out of it and a lot of the applications replaced with um, AOSP I think that's how you say it AOSP uh, which is basically stock Android applications versus you know the manufacturer like Motorola applications um, I will go over it with you once it's finished installing and kind of show you what I'm talking about on it so I'm going to let this thing finish installing, and I'll show you the rest of it here. So I'll just hang on a sec. All right, so it finished installing. Um, took about two minutes. really wasn't that long. You don't actually have to flash um, any G-gaps with this. They're already included in the ROM, so you don't have to do that. Um, once you've flashed that and you're in stock, uh, ROM slot 1, like I said, you flash it, just go ahead and hit Reboot System. And this first reboot does take quite a while. Um, you're going to also see you're in safe strap, you're in safe mode, so you're going to have a green uh, splash screen on the next screen here. So that's good. I want to let you guys see the boot animation, and then we're going to pause while it boots up. I'll do a little setup, and then I'll give you kind of a walkthrough on it. I'm going to skip past that screen. Um, so let's just see what we got for boot animation. Uh, also, this boot animation does take quite a while. I mean, I think it takes around four minutes probably to fully boot the phone up. But here you go, this is the boot animation, which I think is pretty cool. I wish I could make some stuff like this. Um, so there you go, that is it. So let's just let this thing boot up, and then I'll kind of walk through the ROM for you a little bit here. Alright guys, so here you go, this is Eclipse fully booted up here. Um, I'll just kind of go through it right, really quick for you. This is your <clears throat> home screens. Um, here is your pull down, and you do have some quick toggles up here quite a few of them which is pretty nice um, let's go into settings 
pretty much standard settings. Nothing is different except for Eclipse settings, which is this launcher right here. So this is uh, Eclipse launcher that he's put in here versus your home launcher, which you normally have. Um, and there are some different settings in there. Uh, let's see what else I got here. And then let's go to app drawer. So as you can see in here, there is no Motorola blur in this thing. It is pretty much cleaned out almost completely. The only thing really left in here that's from your Motorola is your stock Google or Android, yeah, Google applications, and then also Quick Office, which is really nice. I use that application a lot, so I like that. Um, so we have Terminal Emulator. You have your Super SU, which is your root uh, application, that allows root access. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have DSP Manager for audio, and then he's even taken your your car home and your clock and stuff like that, and put all the Android stuff in there, not the Motorola. Um, other than that, that's 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 pretty much what you got for applications on this thing. Um, you got your widgets here, obviously. We'll go back out. It's pretty just like sleek and clean. There just isn't much here. It's very like I would call it vanilla. So I think that's a good term for it. You know, basically the only customization you have on this thing is your uh, quick toggles here and um, a couple different uh, applications that were added in. And then just everything else is cleaned out so you don't have all that junk running in the background. Um, so a little bit of theming here under settings where it's different. You actually have just all black and white. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, you got you do have a battery percentage up here in the top on a bar, uh, which is nice. And then if you see that, uh, my thing says there's no signal and stuff because I don't have a SIM card in this thing right now. So that is why it says that. But uh, everything's pretty good. I like it. It's very slick, very smooth. Um, Eclipse makes excellent, excellent uh, ROMs, or should I say nitroglycerin makes excellent ROMs. Um, again, like I said, I will put links to this on XDA, maybe even Nitroglycerin's uh, thread on there also, down in my video description, along with maybe uh, links to the ROM and everything else like that. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up on it. Uh, subscribe to my channel down below, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.